Welcome everybody, Red Arrow 23 here. Uh, it's time for the second installment of Mega Crab, so we're going to do stages 11 through to 20. There's booms and beaches. Alright guys, let's check it out, stage 11 of the Mega Crab. Still using skanks at this stage. Burning it up. Still able to do quite a lot with the GBE here, which is good. Get rid of that shield generator before the uh, before the skanks get there. It should help. Which that's the. Um, Get a little bit harder to keep um, control of these or keep the health on these skanks as we rise up. We're still doing alright, no losses so far. Here we go, get rid of those cannons early. That the critter bats or the crats hit them out, distract everything. Uh, this scary mortar is just playing with my troops. Tanks just going all over the place. Stage 12, check out stage 13. Unlucky for some. Is it for us? Put a few more cannons on this one boom mines etc. I think that's one of the things that um, kind of disappointed me about the um, about the critter bats is that you used to be able to use these critter box um, these whatever you call them critter boxes critter domes capsules um, to clear all of the mines and now it's a lot harder I think I got my first might have even got my first loss and I wasn't paying attention in this one Oh, maybe not. Depends if I ate a boom uh, mine when I wasn't looking. Oh no, we're right on that one. Here we go, we lost one tank on this one. Resources are starting to get um, a bit higher on the reward front. They're doing pretty... Um, just brute force attacks at this stage. Haven't been trying to flare the core early or anything like that. Haven't been getting fancy. I think this is where it killed me. Oh, I actually thought the tanks were really low health, but it was just the critters. They tricked me. We do have some low health um, tanks over here. Here's the one I lost. Boom. And that scary mortar just freaking out my troops. Oh, this is the first one I didn't do in one attack. Is it? Yeah. Oh no, sorry. We got it. We got it. So having to throw so many critters to clear those mines. Just ridiculous. And then we think it's after. Nice. So stage 14, 15, no losses. Might have even been down to tank this one. This is that last loss. I mean, it's good that we get the critter bats to um, distract everything, all of the defenses, and not die to the mines, but then you've got to clear all the mines as well. Go clearing it up. The skanks look so funny when they just go full reverse on their um, scary mortar. It's quite funny. 
and boom, everything converge. Nice. All right, stage 16, still going. Two Intel, love it for the team. Gonna get rid of these shock launchers. They're gonna be the ones that are gonna be annoying. did the cryo bomb to get rid of those mines as well, there we go. Gonna save that scorcher. I think I threw like quite a lot of smoke on this one to try and save it. The problem if you're not rocking T-Med, they don't just heal up over time. I think this one's in a bit of danger at the moment. Managed to escape though. Nice. Right, what was that? 16, 17. There's four shock launches, probably the biggest issue at the moment. take out the rear ones and trusting the troops to take out the front ones oh man going nuts over here the cryo bombs, crazy mortars, um, speed serum. Boom! So much going on that time. <laughs> Alright, let's check out stage 18. Oh, it's some heavy losses on this one. I must not have been awake. Speed Severum's active. I think I was I was too busy trying to clear critters and mines and stuff that I didn't even pay attention to these two boom cannons over on the left. And they just shredded me. And the game's slowing down, this is laggy because there's so many explosions and shock mines going off. Everything's going on. I think this is when I realized that the map was getting a bit harder. I like the animation of the um, of the scary mortar. Check it out. Boom! Things cool. Oh, I don't like watching this again. All these scorches just disappearing. Don't obviously use a lot of skanks usually. Used to a bit more AZ. Unless you'd like to see some of um, you and Max, uh, Mad Max, they like to use a lot of grenadiers. I know there's a few grenadier experts out there. Um, let me know if you use them in, Meg in Mega Crab, how they go. I think there's quite a few ranged defenses on here, so I'm not sure how well it would work. Ah, oh, that's right, I could have saved this Scorcher. Look at this. He dies, and then I realized that I threw a smoke. Because <laughs> I was angry that I could have got it. Oh, well. That was 18 to 19. I switched to Ruka because I lost so many skanks. Um, and looking at this map, there's so many cannons that I thought, oh, let's just try Ruka. I think it was actually gaming on Battlefield 1 with the guys as well, so I just wanted to drop a bunch of troops and not worry too much. 
I'm gonna work on this shock launcher and rocket launcher, they're gonna be a problem later on. Might not have been a bad idea to chuck some um, medics on here because of their bad medkit. Late medkit. Look at that cryo bomb. Slows down all those cannons. We'll just flare up to the top. A little bit more damage. Oh, and I took out the shock launcher and rocket launcher. Nice. Man, we escaped. Ran away scared. Hell between our legs. It probably would have made more sense to sneak right around. I was being pretty lazy, you can see. Alright, let's see. GBE, some of the stuff over here. A few shocks, and we can just brute force it all the way through. Bit of speed serum, and we're away. Boom. That's as far as we got so far. Let's check out stage 20. See what we got. Not too many mines around. Might just get rid of these. Need to watch out when you're doing barrages um, if you're trying to release critters. So I was releasing those critter bats. Um, but because I used a barrage, it obviously killed them all. So if you're worried about that. I'll just get rid of this cannon as well. Just because I can. And then release the bats. See if I can shock. And the bats are free. Perfect. It worked well. I've never been a fan of um, flamethrowers versus scorches because they got such a high DPS or damage per second. Um, and you're all close up and personal, and they do a lot of damage to the scorches. You see, even with that, the scorches come out. Oh, don't do it. Damn it. Way too slow. Come on, Reed. You're better than that. This is pretty late. I've been gaming with um, game with the guys. There's no excuse. It was terrible. Please up that mid kit, though. Wow. We lost. We lost one tank so far. It's okay. But that one scorcher is not doing too good. If we can just focus on the core here. Or the scorcher is going to start wavering again. Here we go. We're far away enough from the defenses that everything's just targeting the core. It's good. Let's take that down, retrain up another tank. Have a look at stage 21. Now let's have a quick look at the high scores. So top person in New Zealand so far. Obviously New Zealand's gonna be a bit further ahead than the rest of the world because we got a little um, earlier. Right there at stage 33. And we're down at 137th on stage 21, so it's not too bad. 
I don't think anyone else in the oh Pia's on there. Fun sends Pia. We've got plenty of time left, but I don't want to have too many attacks in the bank. All right, let's have a look. That's the preview of stage 21. That's going to wrap it up for um, this video. We're just going to do 11 through to 20. So stay tuned for the next um, load of stages. Um, comment down in the section below how you're going and your plans and all that. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't, and subscribe for more. Boom, boom!